your teams are probably bloated with extra people that don't need to be there for whatever reason. Maybe your manager always needs to include their favorite people in every team, even though they have no reason to be there. Projects that were kicked off that didn't need to be kicked off. For whatever reason, they're probably bloated, or at least some of them are probably bloated. Let's go clean them up. Unlike my other videos, this one is geared towards the end user. Because to get a list of team members from Azure AD, that's as simple as going to the group and hitting export and you got your spreadsheet. But if you're not an admin of Office 365, that becomes more complicated because it becomes a three-step process. You say, hey, IT, I need a list of all the people of this team. They send you a list, you edit the list, and you send it back to them to move it all. That's a lot of extra work. That's a time delay, depending upon what you have to do, when you have to do it, it may or may not be feasible. So let's at least chop out those first two steps here. To do this, we are going to use Power Automate to grab a, the list of users. So let's get started. As you can see right here, I have this demo team created. And if you're used to Microsoft Teams, the way you add or remove people, you just go to manage team, shows the owners, shows the guests. And in this demo team, it's just me and Mr. Ted Mosby here. And to be fair, if your team itself can fit into however much space this equals here, it's not terrible, but it's not great. There's no way to sort alphabetically there's no export button you can search but once you get above 10 20 maybe 30 users depending upon your screen size here this is very painful to sort out who's in it who's supposed to be there etc use power automate to help us out with that process here first go to portaloutoffice.com and log in once you are in you can you know see all your recent stuff if you've never been here before but more importantly, go over to the Power Automate icon. Since I've used it, it's already in here. If you've never used it, go ahead and click all apps. Then it is right here alphabetically with the rest of your list. Yeah, either way, you'll end up here. Now we need to go and create a flow. We click on my flows to get started on this cleanup. Go ahead and click on new flow and do instant cloud flow. And you have to give it a name or else it's gonna pick one based off of your, whatever you choose as your trigger, which may or may not be useful in determining what it does. So clean, get list of demo team. And then select manually trigger this flow. Go ahead and click on create. And we got the first step in our flow. When we trigger it, it's gonna start doing whatever we fill in underneath it. So first we need to get our team members. If you go in here and search teams, they're starting to build some stuff, but it's nothing we actually need in this case here. So a little known secret, the security piece of a Microsoft team is a Microsoft 365 group. The other known secret is Microsoft just rebranded Microsoft 365 groups from Office 365 groups, and that's where it is stored in Power Automate. Apparently Power Automate did not get the update saying it was getting a new name. So we can just search for our list group members, and then we just scroll down to, we got remove add where's my list there it is list now to track down the actual team that you're looking for just click the drop down find the listing here that matches the team name that you need the group members from if we go under advanced here uh, depending upon the size of your group you may have to adjust this and there's a more advanced option if you are pressing the large high-end limit to get above a thousand members in this, but just for safety, I'm just gonna type in the max without doing any of the advanced stuff. And now we just search create CSV and then go to create CSV table on data operations. And then from here, we just choose the dynamic content of value. Value encompasses everything of the group members. Next, if we do advanced columns here, by default it's set to automatic. So what it's gonna do is create a table of 
every user with all of this information in it. If it's a small team, not the end of the world, but if you are sorting through, you know, 10, 20, 100, hundreds of users, a lot of this stuff is just junk. So if you want to make it more specific, you can specify which columns you want by just switching this to custom and then header, say display name. And then for value, choose display name. That's just the full name. Then email address. The header is not allowed to have spaces in it, FYI. So choose mail. And if you want to be thorough, just in case somebody's primary email address and their user principal name is not the same, we can grab that too. So, do, do, do. And if, if there is something that you're sorting by, like if you have to do it by office location and it's actually up to date in your environment, you can grab that into, it doesn't matter. All right, now that we have a table created, we need a place to store this file once it's done. So the easiest place in, for this example is OneDrive for Business. So let's just use that for this example. Just search create file without the typos. Create file and folder path, make sure you click on this folder here because if you miss it, it's gonna bring up that dynamic content which is not gonna help us. So click the folder. I'm gonna be lazy and just put it in the root but if you wanted to put it in a subfolder, you just drill down um, and go from there. File name is whatever you wanna call it, demo, blah, blah, blah. Um, just in case you have to run this multiple times, I like to make the files unique so we don't have to worry about overwriting. And the easy way to do that is go underneath expression and scroll down to time and date. And you just select the UTC now to get a timestamp. And then just hyphen demo team members.csv. You have to put that extension on there or else by default, Excel's not gonna open this. So uh, just make sure you get your extension there and you should be good to go. The last part of this is file content. So select here and then just grab the output from the CSV table. Then you can hit save and you are good to go. If there's any errors, they will pop up. We'll tell you where they are. The descriptions may or may not be useful on uh, figuring out what you did wrong there, but just rewind and find the typo most likely. Now, if we go back to here, they'll give you this thing that you already know. And you can just hit run from here. It's gonna double check permissions, say, hey, I need to use you to grab access to these spots makes sense click continue and then run flow and now that it has successfully started you can see it is running here if we refresh it it's probably done yep took a whole three seconds if you want you can click on the entry of that self and drill down otherwise let's just flip over to onedrive and right here is our new file. Click on it. And we got email addresses, user principal names, and there's your, sh your short list. Now, how do you actually use this? Well, you can go through here and at least a base level if you're stuck cleaning up your team yourself. Now that's in Excel, you can sort it by name, by address, you know, split the, the email address by domain if you got filtered that way. Doesn't matter, but you can easily filter it and get it down to the members you need to remove. Then, depending upon your IT department, if you filter this out saying who needs to be removed, hopefully you can just toss it to your IT department and they can go through and yank out the extra people rather quickly. Otherwise, if you gotta you know, still go find it in this one, you can at least start searching for the members you need to remove and then remove them instead of trying to figure out where they are in the list of users based on when they were added. If you have a bunch of teams to clean up and have to do this for you know, a bunch of different groups of people for whatever reason, once you get your flows created, just add the Power Automate app to your 
teams instance here and then once you flip this from teams flows to all flows they'll all be listed right here and then you can just select it and hit run all from teams you don't have to jump in between different portals and with that i'm going to head out hopefully you found this a little bit easier than digging through the built-in user management of teams itself if you think I've earned it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up symbol and hit that subscribe button. If you want to know more about Power Automate and how it can make your life easier, leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see, and I'll build it. Until next time, I'm Terry, and this is TD Sheridan Lab.